Hello, and welcome to my new YouTube series, delving into the dark depths of everything the internet has to offer in terms of human and animal experiments, fascinating disasters, true crime, and stories quite possibly too fantastical to be true, but backed up with evidence or first-hand accounts. My name is Ross, so sit back, relax, and allow me to regale you with the first of our case studies. Our first case is known as the Monkey Head Experiment, and after hearing about this one, I felt inspired and compelled to begin this series. I mean, it's truly incredible and just shocking. And while it does focus on animal mutilation and experimentation, the results from these experiments really did change the face of human transplantation, leading to the invention of new anti-rejection drugs and new procedures. So while the experiment is definitely objectively unethical, a lot of good did ultimately come from it. Whether or not the ethical sacrifice was worth it, I'll leave up to you. This case begins in 1970 with a surgeon by the name of Robert Joseph White and his infamous monkey head experiment. Utilising eight small rhesus monkeys, Robert would be attempting to decapitate and graft the heads of some of the monkeys onto host bodies, meanwhile attempting to preserve metabolic and sensory functions of said decapitated head. Honestly, when I first started looking into this case, I just sat there with my mouth hanging open. I mean, in modern medicine, sure, somewhat believable, but back in 1970, how, how was this even possible? Alas, Robert, who would later in his life receive honorary doctorates from three separate universities, would transect the monkey heads at the fourth and fifth cerebral vertebrae, taking care to preserve the carotid jugular circulations through sutured cannula loops. By maintaining blood flow during this delicate process, he would ensure that the living brains would suffer no oxygen depletion and therefore remain functionally intact. He used immunosuppressive agents to ensure that the new heads were not rejected by the host body, and three to four hours post-surgery, the grafted heads began to show awareness of their surroundings. Their eyes would follow stimulus and even attempt to chew food placed in their mouth, despite now having no digestive system. The connected EEG records even showed that the grafted heads displayed a conscious state. Each of the four experiments lasted between six and 36 hours post-surgery, with the cause of death reported to be due to the concoction of drugs in conjunction with blood loss from the surgery. Following the experiment, the brains would be dissected, and it would be reported that none of them had suffered any noticeable brain damage. There have been other experiments similar to this case. For example, following on from this, a scientist by the name of Xiaoping Ren grafted the head of a mouse onto another mouse's body, the subject of which survived for a full six months following the procedure. Prior to this case, I found information on similar head grafting experiments, both in 1908 by Charles Guffrey and in 1953 by Dr Vladimir Demikov both of which involved the grafting of dogs' heads onto donor bodies, with varying degrees of success. I might well go on to do a full video regarding these cases, but for now, I'll pop some links in the description for further reading. And thus concludes my video on the 1970 monkey head transplants. I hope you found this as horrifyingly fascinating as I did, and hopefully it was presented in such a way that you'd like to see and hear more case studies. As this channel is just starting out, I'd be extremely grateful if you'd like and subscribe to the channel, and keep an eye out for future content. Stay safe, and see you next time.